What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get to the achievement Treasures... How do you spell treasures? Treasures of Zuldazar. Right here. So you have to discover the hidden treasures of Zuldazar. There's 10 treasures here. They're scattered across the zone. So I have Tom Tom. I'm going to tell you the coordinates of all of them, but I will of course show you, well, where they are exactly in case you don't have a coordinate add on, which is fine. Now, in every zone on Kulturos and Zandalar, there are many chests just around, but a lot of those chests are just normal chests. They give you some more resources. They might give you a little bit of Azerite. These chests are named chests that go towards this achievement. So, Horde and Alliance, of course, can get these. And in this video, I'm going to show you where all 10 of these named chests are. So, let's get started. So, this first treasure is the Spoils of Pindaria, and we're going to start down here in Southern Zuldazar. Are. This one's at 51.71, 86.90, and this is the biggest Zandalar ship, so there's a bunch of Zandalari ships around here. This is the biggest one, it stands out, and it's on the uh, bottom level of the ship. So we're gonna come onto this ship now. There's a shore over there in case you, you do need to get up on the shore. So just uh, go around that way, and we're gonna go down here. There might be guys in here, I forget. Yep, there are. So we're going to go to the bottom level. All the way to the back here. Down here. Around here. And there it is in the back. So let's... Let's see what this chest gives exactly. I might have to kill some of these guys. Oh god. It gave a golden treasure map and some more resources. Now this next one is the Warlord's Cache, the second one. This one's at 49.48, 65.26. And this one is at the top of this ship here. And I just got dismounted, that's nice. So we're gonna head to the top of this ship now. And once again, it's right here. So just going up here, all the way to the top, and here it is. It looks like the last chest. And it gave some more resources and then something to sell. This third chest is called the White Shark's Bounty. And we're actually in uh, Dazar Allure. So it's right here at 61.06, 58.63. And this one's actually going to be an NPC that you have to kill. This NPC right here. Named the White Shark. I think if you're a horde, they will be neutral to you. But then uh, she ends up just being hostile. So... It's not a big deal, but you have to kill her and then uh, also, I guess, take out her friend because her friend's right here. So you have to kill her and then the chest will spawn. Here it is, the White Shark's Bounty. Uh, some more resources and trash to sell. The fourth chest is the uh, Riches of Tor Noah and it is at 52.97, 47.22. And we're on this road right here and we're going to jump off the road. So, there's this little stump here. I'm just going to jump over it. And it's right there. Right here. And it has more resources and more trash to sell. Now, this next chest, it is the uh, fifth one. It is right here at 56.1238.06. And this one is the Cache of Secrets. So, we're in uh, Dazar Allure. Dazar Allure here, and this one's in a cave that's under a waterfall, and that waterfall is right here. I believe that's the waterfall. So once again, this is where I am in Dazar Allure. Let's, uh, get there. Let's see, yep. So I'm just gonna jump into this water. And, yep, you can, you can kind of see the cave. And there is the uh, chest. I assume these golems are going to attack. Well, that's all right. Nope. Oh, yep. Okay. Let's, uh, no, they just died. All right. So now this next one is Dazar's Forgotten Chest. And it's a kind of a longer run to get to. Now there are fly paths up here. There's a horde fly path up here. And then an alliance fly path that you can later unlock that are by the Atal Dazar dungeon entrance. If you have those fly paths, go ahead and take them. If you don't, I'm going to show you how to get up here. So all these dots have to do with uh, this chest. So we're going to start here at 49.61, 37.65. And we're going to uh, 
just enter this temple here. And then we're going to take a right. Up these stairs. And once again, we're going to... Well, the chest is not at the Ataldazar entrance. But we're going to be near that area. So if you have those five points, uh, go ahead and... Go ahead and take those. And this one's also... I believe it's in the uninstanced portion of Ataldazar. So you do have to go to the uninstanced portion if you want to get to King's Rest. In case you've never been to King's Rest. But we're going to... Keep going up here. This is the Horde flight path right here. And then here is the entrance to Ataldazar. But we're not going in there. We're going to take a sharp right here. Go up this path. And then there's, I think there's like a rare up here in case you haven't killed it. Or yeah, right here. But we're going to go past him. We don't need to kill him. Through, there's a small hole here. You might not really be able to see it very well in the video. But we're going to pass through here. Go along this path behind this waterfall. Do not fall off. Whatever you do. Don't fall off. And the chest is right up here. And the chest is at 38.79, 34.43. And here it has it. And here it is. I think it has some gems in it. Uncut gems. Or as one like a gym for me at least. I might have two for you. Uh, also some more resources. This next one is the Gift of the Broken Hearted at 51.43, 26.61. And this one's actually not going to be visible on your map. Uh, but this is the location where we're at right here. There's a Horde flight path right here. So you can take that flight path. And we're going to go past this shrine thing. Between these trees. Up this path. Around this bend, there will be some incense. Incense right here. Click that. And here's a chest. Gift of the Brokenhearted. And it gave some things to sell plus five war resources. So this next one is the Offering of the Chosen. It's at 54.09, 31.50. And this one's pretty much in Dazar Alor. So if you're Horde, it's uh, much easier to get to. This is the location where I started at. If you're Horde, you might want to start like right there. Which is more in the city. But I'm going to go ahead and activate camo because I don't have to deal with these guys. And we're going to run around here. Around this bend to go through these guys. And this one's on like a second floor. It's like up here. It's more up here. So this guy sees through stealth. That's not good. But I'll be fine. And then we're going to go up these stairs. Something tells me I'm going to pull these guys. But that's fine. Okay, I don't know what just happened. But I literally just walked right through them. We're going to keep going up this way. I'm at the part where there are no more guards, so I'm fine. And then go through these guys. We're going to go through those pterodaxes. Go through this opening. To the left here. And this will bring us to that second floor I was talking about. Uh, and then this is a guy for a quest. So yeah, Zandalari people or Horde quest in here. And then going to go through this opening. We're almost there. This is the... Uh, Eighth chest, I think. Yeah, it's the eighth chest. And now we can see it on our map. Uh, no, that's not it. That is a normal treasure chest. It's through this opening now. And then it's just a straight shoot. Go away. And there it is. We can see it. The Offering of the Chosen, which has some stuff to sell and 25 war resources. Now this ninth chest, we're almost done, is the Witch Doctor's Horde. It's at 64.73, 21.70. And we're going to be at this cross section right here in front of Nezingwari's Trek. So we're going to go down this path. 
And the only way to get to this chest is from the east side, that's where the path starts. So just heading down this path, and we're going to diverge off the path here in a second, right here. Go this way. Because this one's like more up on a, on a hill, sort of thing. Up this way, around here. You might pull some guys, but that's okay. And this is it, the Witch Doctor's Horde. Some more resources and trash to sell. Now the 10th and final chest, we're at Nezingwari's Trek right here. And this one is in a cave. So the cave's at 71.16, 17.67, and then the actual one is at 71.84, 16.76. So we're gonna head east away from Nezingwari's Trek and it's up this path right here. And this is, yep, it is the 10th and final chest. Here's the cave. Head into the cave. And then the chest is right here. Chest is right here. The Exile's Lament. And there we have it. That gave us five polished pet charms, some more resources, and some stuff to sell. And there's your achievement, Treasures of Zul'dazar. So, those are all ten treasures. Uh, it's kind of sad that this zone didn't really give you any like neat reward because I know on Colt Ross, the uh, Tear Guard Sound one gave you a really cool toy. The Josfar one gave you a Wicker Pup pet. Stormsong Valley, well Stormsong Valley didn't really give one I don't think. It, it gave a pig nose but that's not really a, a thing because it's just a one time use thing. But anyways guys, those are all ten treasures of Zul'dazar. Horde and Alliance can get this of course. If this video is helpful at all to you, you can leave a like on it, you can sub to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.